we want to focus on golden seeds with you, something near and dear to your heart. There is an idea about golden seeds that has been put out that the organization makes for a more equitable innovation economy. So what does that mean exactly? And how does golden seeds do that? Um, so if we're speaking explicitly about business, you know, I just want to tell you that, you know, it's, it's been proven time and again that companies with the highest representation of women on their executive committees perform better. Um, I think McKinsey study says that, you know, they're 25% more likely um, to have above average financial performance. So we'll, we'll start with that one. Um, and that, you know, it also, I've also know that, you know, share prices purportedly go up 20% when you have just one uh, woman on uh, a board. And yet um, a BCG study has, has shown that women-led companies get 53% um, less invested capital um, by way of their male, um, male companies, male owned and operated companies. And it's just, it's just makes no sense. Um, I think we all know that um, women, women organizations, women led uh, companies not only perform better, they're more creative. And, you know, we just need to make sure that we are thinking out of the box and doing the right thing for everyone. So Golden Seeds finances companies. There was one New Jersey company and there was a connection made between the angel investors and this particular woman. We actually spoke to her. So it was very exciting that her company got some much needed funding. Are there more investors eager to connect with more female entrepreneurs in our state? Absolutely. So, so let me, if you'll give me a second, you know, we, we could not have launched this at, at probably a worse time. We, we brought um, Golden Seeds to New Jersey in February of last year. And um, we were the eighth chapter of Golden Seeds to open, the only chapter in the United States that actually has uh, a government entity that's, that's um, promoting Golden Seeds. Uh, and over the course of the pandemic, we not only increased our, our members to by 18, um, so we're now, we have 27 members, but we have spoken to 81 companies in the state of New Jersey. And over the course of last year, the New Jersey chapter alone uh, represented one third of the total investment of all Golden Sea chapters across the United States at, at you know, nearly three and a half million dollars. So um, there is a lot of activity in New Jersey and yes, there's, there's, there's a lot of interest. The one thing about investing in an entrepreneur or a great idea and innovation Sometimes you don't see an immediate return on investment. So how do you answer questions uh, from people who say, you know, why put our resources, whether it's public or private, behind innovation and ideas that might not materialize right away? So, um, you know, picking up on, on what I was saying just a minute ago about the, the, the Boston Consulting Group study, um, where women-led companies get 53% less invested capital, um, but... Um, within just two years um, of investing in women-owned um, companies, they generate higher revenues per dollar invested than male companies. So um, there's very little in this world that, that you know, you're going to invest in five seconds flat, you're going to have a return. So I think it's, it's one of these things where not only is it, is it better, um, it's, it's smart financially, but you know, at the end of the day, um, all boats rise together. This whole notion of golden seeds is it's not only about the equity piece, but it really speaks to the, the broader value set um, that, that Phil, my, my husband, the governor, has brought to the state and, and that is being um, modeled across the entire administration. So, so we have a lot more to do and we're really excited. And thanks for giving me this opportunity to highlight golden seeds. Absolutely. We know we'll be hearing a lot more about the innovation economy, a phrase your husband used all the time before he had to focus in on uh, dealing with the pandemic, but I know that phrase will be making the rounds again. Thank Absolutely. you so much. Okay, thanks Rhonda, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.